Remember, the idea is to go as fast as we can through the corners. So we turn the wheel, we turn the wheel, and yes, the tire is starting to slip a little, but guess what? As you start to build up slip angle, the cornering force builds until you get towards the top and it starts to flatten out right here, okay? And what you're trying to do is put maximum cornering force for the shortest period of time out on the racetrack so that you can get the car angular towards the, the finish line faster. So it would be so cool if we could somehow figure out where that point is. And this goes back to what we talked about at the very beginning of the class. Oh uh, yeah, but out, when we're out on the, on the racetrack, we can't change those. Uh, you could change that here in the garage and go out and check to see if there's a difference, but I'm talking about things that you as a driver with only two sets of controls, which move fuzzy dice around the car, can control this, okay. Rum roll. Okay. Full. Empty. Now. Okay, watch this. I, I won't be able to do this very long. Okay. If I'm holding this thing out here like this, this thing weighs a lot, so I can't carry on like this for very much. And let's say I want to feel... <laughs> When I did this in rehearsal, I was able to hold it up there the whole time. What's going on here, okay? Now, I want to add a little bit of weight. Okay, I'm straining here a little bit, but I want to add a little bit of weight to that. Am I going to be able to tell exactly when that extra weight was put on if I'm holding this thing like this? I don't think so. In fact, if you had a blind here and I'm straining like this and you just set this little bit of weight on there, I would not be able to tell when it happened. Okay, now for the fun part. All right. Now, same amount of weight. You put the blind there, I guarantee I could tell you when that thing hit there. And that is what we call the signal to noise ratio. The, 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 this is the signal, okay? I'm trying to read the force, because remember we said, because the contact patch trails as we turn the steering wheel, there's resistance. The resistance is the cornering force, but it peaks and then it starts to go away. So if I can find the point of maximum resistance on the steering wheel, I'm at maximum cornering force. But if I've got a, a death grip on the steering wheel and I'm trying to read minute changes in the, the resistance of the steering wheel, but I've got a freaking death grip on the steering wheel because I'm relying on friction, which is always harder than if we were to use leverage, then guess what? If somehow I could use leverage by pushing on the side of that thing, now the amount of resistance and tension in my forearms has dropped dramatically. So if the resistance in my forearms has dropped dramatically, I'm a lot better able to read these minute changes. And suddenly the, the, the limit, the cornering limit, lights up like a neon sign in your mind. <laughs> <laughs>